Correct. CBP examines a traveler arriving from India on a B-1 tourist visa. I just want to ask you a few questions pertaining to your admission to the United States. <laughs> the primary officer referred them back saying this person may be seeking entry to the United States to, to be working as a priest. The traveler says he was invited to lead prayer at an American Sikh temple. I see that you've been here many times. Do you always come to the same temple? No, he has different uh, temples he goes to. The first time he came was 2014. 2014, okay. Yes. And today he wants to come for two months. On his previous entries to the United States, he's been staying for periods almost up to six months. Is your intent in coming to the United States to make money? Only pay. No, no, mother of make money. The traveler claims he isn't paid for preaching but he does accept donations. Approximately how much money would you say that you received as donations while in the United States? Just last year. 24. 2,400. 2,400. Some people use the form donation as a way of describing how they receive money in the United States. So the way that the United States views your visa is that you cannot receive any payment for anything that you do in the United States. So visa aapko mila tha, yeh, B1, B2. I agree with the system, but when people give money, when people need money, handicap people, people give, you can't refuse. The traveler insists he gives all donations to charity. It seems that there may be some confusion as to what he is and isn't allowed to do under this visa. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me yet. People give, you can't refuse. A Sikh holy man may be violating the terms of his visitor visa by accepting donations at American temples. Whether he's giving it to charity or anything like that, law doesn't really care about that. The officers call the temple to verify the traveler's story. Hi, this is Customs and Border Protection at San Francisco Airport. They communicated that he is well aware of the fact that he's going to receive money in the United States. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. At this point, there's a lot of loose ends. Yes. We've had uh, six previous entries to the United States, five of which were for a period of six months. Yeah. So that's two and a half years that yeah. he spent in the United States. The officers consult their supervisor. He's seeking entry for two months. He's saying the last time he was in the United States, he received approximately $2,400 in donations. He never revealed the fact he was working in any capacity. No. He says he doesn't keep any of the money that he gets. Um, he gives it to sick, elderly, widows, whatever. He says he brings it back in cash. I don't want to talk to him. Okay. So he's got a big lot of cash when he leaves. Correct. It's looking like this traveler may be in violation of their, their B1, B2 visa. And if that's the case, he could be on the next plane home. Only clear. No, 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 no. CBP discovers a priest from India has been accepting donations for leading prayer at U.S. Sikh temples. It's looking like this traveler may be in violation of their, their B1, B2 visa. In this case, he's using the word donation in exchange for the word employment or salary. Which language would you like interpreted? Punjabi. The officer dials in a translator to deliver his decision. Due to the fact that you stated you had violated the terms of your B1, B2 visa and received remuneration, and that you are seeking entry today in order to perform unauthorized employment under the terms of your visa, you are therefore inadmissible to the United States today as an immigrant without a valid immigrant visa. Money from the church is going directly to him that is a form of payment. What he does with that money is up to him. The conclusion that I've come to is that he's knowingly and willingly uh, engaged in unauthorized employment in the United States. As a consequence, you will be ordered removed from the U.S. today and barred from reentry for at least five years. Um, do you have any questions for me while I have the interpreter on the phone? Can you please let me stay here for a few days? No. Ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, that's fine. You 
you look at the statue of justice, a woman who's holding a scale, and it's a balanced scale, and she's blindfolded. And the symbol of that is the law is blind. It doesn't matter if you're a priest or you're coming to work construction. The law doesn't hold preference to one person or another. Inadmissible is inadmissible.